Well, unfortunately, you didn't list a picture of the data. So I'm just going to go through what it could look like for being symmetrical. We know symmetrical, it means it's a mirror image. So symmetry could be that your histogram is these bars that are all the same height. They could all be going uh, in a fashion where they do this. They just have to fold in half and create the same image on each side. So there has to be reflection. If you want bimodal, oops, let's spell that right. If you want bimodal, you want to have two modes. Uh, it doesn't have anything to do with the symmetry. You just have to have two peaks that have the same category. It could be something like this, and all of a sudden that you have two modes, the most frequently occurring items. For the um, positive skew, I can spell this morning. For the positive skew, you want to end up having that skewed to the right, and that means you are going to have the the distribution is going to maybe look something like this, but it's not symmetrical. It has it the tail of the graph is pulled to the right as opposed to the negative skew, would have the graph pulled to the left. So there could be bars this way, and they don't necessarily have to be mound shape. You could have you could have it be bimodal and still have a skew in the negative direction. You just have more of this data being pulled off this way. So uh, in the case of a symmetrical curve, you might also see that good old bell-shaped curve, but it does not have to be bell-shaped to be considered symmetrical by any means. There are infinitely many ways to be symmetrical. One of them happens to be the good old bell-shaped curve. So hopefully that helps.